Let's go to verse 26. Then God said, Let us make mankind. Is it? Amen. Men kinds in our image in our likeness so that they may rule over the fish Amen. Amen. in the sea if you see a fish flying run 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 God either was what was specific. But don't be surprised if you see a fish flying. Because they are actually they are fish that fly. You don't know. Eh? Go and Google. Not fly like the long distance. No, just they jump here some meters. They do it. Amen? Not to fly. They'll go to Brazil and Tahi come back. Brazil. I don't know. If you see that, I'm telling you, and that's mean that your spiritual eyes is open. Amen? Amen. Alright. Uh, okay. Mm, where where I am? In our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky over the livestock and all the wild animals and all and over all the creatures that moves along the ground. Here, I just want to take this sentence. Where God said, let us make mankind in our image. We see unity there. As much we know that God is all powerful, all what we can say about good, God is. But yet, He didn't do it by Himself. Other things he created by himself. But, but when it comes to something very special, which is you and me, now he, he called others to join him to build out together. Amen. Because we are made out together. Amen. We are made. God said that now let us now let us make men. They begin to do men out together. Amen. That is it. So let's also go into the same book, chapter 11. Amen. Genesis chapter 11. We shall also see because everything that God does, the devil Lucifer, he also copies. He copies because he sees the benefits of unity. But where you see unity, that means that there is a great communication. Amen. The key word is communication. So that people can come in in agreement in one mind or oh, they come in, in agreement and they begin to push up so here he speaks about the, the tower of Babel are we there? Amen. alright now the whole world had one language and a common speech Amen. Amen. Now the whole world had one language and a common speech. As people moved eastward, they found a plain, a plain in China. 
Oyanda pwe sharandoka mushina. Is it Shina, ne? Yes. All right. Shina, not China, but Shina. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And settled there. They say to each other. Out together. Amen. That means that there was one among themselves who have maybe said that this place is good. Why don't, why don't we just settle here so that we may not be spread all over the world? Let us do what? Settle here and see. So I try to figure it out. But that, okay, I'll reach there. Or maybe let me just say before I forget. Amen? Amen. All right. But that was against the principles of God. Out together. Amen. Because God wanted the, his people to go and fill the world. In this case, the earth. Out together. Amen. Planet F. So why be in one place? Just imagine if there was by that time there was a corona. All of them they're supposed to do what? And the plan of God is supposed not to be fulfilled. And God says that this is not my plan. My plan is for people to do what? To scatter all over the world. But this is what they are trying to do. It's against me. One person has started. Out together. Amen. As much as they were having one language, a common speech. Out together. Yes, Amen. But one person has started. Amen. Amen. Since this agreement or this thought is against the law of God, that means one person was possessed by evil spirit. Lucifer possessed the same way Lucifer possessed the snake. Out together. Amen. As I I was preaching, share a little bit the word in on Monday. Out together. I came to understand that the snake also was innocent. Amen. Amen. The devil didn't create the snake. God created the snake. The devil has not created anything. Out together. Amen. So the devil did what? He, he possessed the snake. Out together. Amen. Through the snake, he was speaking. Out together. Amen. If God can speak through an animal, the devil can also copy. If God can speak through a human being, the devil can also speak through a human being. Anything that God is interested in it, the devil will also go after it. Are you there? Oh, he has daddy. Are you there? He has daddy. So, God by that time was already speaking through human beings. And the devil said, I will also do the same thing so that I can frustrate the plan of this one who chased me out together, who chased me from heaven. Now I will show him who I am. I'm going to scatter everything here on earth. Are you there? Are you there? He possessed the snake. And the snake convinced the women. And the women convinced the husband. That's why God has the, the, uh, the husband. What have you done? I said, no, the wife that you gave me. Is it? The wife that you gave me. Oh, okay, no problem. Wife, what have you done? What is this you have done? And the wife said, what? The snake deceived me. Amen? Beauty. Amen. When we talk about the beauty, the snake was one of the what? The most beautiful things that God has created in the garden of Eden. Amen. Amen. That's why the devil will never go after something which is not great. 
Amen. Yes. Every time you, when you are being accused, when you are being fought, ask yourself. Yes. But why? Okay. Mm. Amen. Amen. So I'm just trying to explain a little bit okay. altogether. That indeed it was the devil. Amen. Yes. As much they were speaking, they were speaking one language. They have one common speech altogether. Yes. I don't think all of them they were like thinking the same thoughts. Or they were having the same thoughts. Altogether. One. It mm. started. Amen. Amen. Because a lot of people they like to ask themselves, but wh why? Why God has to fight people who are united? Yes, they are united. But the reason behind that is wrong. Out together. Oh yes, it is wrong. Let's go. The power of unity. Which verse are you? Verse 3, I believe so. Is it? They say to each other, Come, let's make bricks and beg them. Is it? Amen. To do what? There's one cow there. Eh? Tarot? Hmm? What is this? Means what? Hard, strong. Is it? Yes. Okay. Then they say to each other, Come, let us and let's make bricks and beg them. Is it? Yes. They use bricks instead of stone. Is it? Yes. Enter for what? For mortar. All right. right. Let's go. Then they said, Come, let's build, uh, let us. You see, us. Is it? Yes. God also said, let us make. Mm. This make is to build. Is to construct something. Is it? Yes. Oh, yes. It's to create something out of nothing. To create something that has never been existed before. It's to assemble things. But this time, this people, they were only assembled. They were not creating. Out together. Amen. So then they said, let us build ourselves a seat with a tower no, ne, tungo, that reaches harifiki, to what? To the heavens. So that Opo. we may so that we may make a name Opo. for ourselves. Otherwise we will be scattered over the face of the whole uni, world. Uh, what does the word of God say? In Genesis, when he blessed them, when he blessed the men, eh? go and is it and feel? You see this, these people, is it? Yes. These clever people that they know too much. They say no, no, it's supposed to be like this. Is it? Amen. Here yeah, we see. Unity. Let us. Okay. Let's go. All together. Amen. Can we proceed? Yes, men of God. Which verse are we? Verse five. Verse five. But the Lord came down to see the seat and the tower and the people we are building. The Lord said, "If." If as one people speak the same language, they have begun to do this. Is it? Amen. Then, ne? just imagine. Is it? Then the Lord said, 
If as one people speak the same language, they have begun, is it, yes. to do this, then nothing they plan, is it, nothing they plan, uh, nothing they plan to do will be impossible for what? For them. Many it was possible for them to reach heaven. Amen. Let us not say heaven. Amen. Heavens. Out together. Because that's what the Bible says. I already teach how many heavens we have. Is it? Alright. So heavens. Meaning they were even about to reach the first heaven, no, the second, and the third heaven. Amen. This is God say. This is what God spoke, uh, said. He said that the way these people are united, anything they trying to do, nothing will be impossible for them. Meaning they will achieve anything they decide to do. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's not sleep, sleep in the house of God, please. Amen. 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 Sometimes the blessing is not through the lay of hands. It's through the preaching. During the preaching, the Holy Spirit will give birth to a, sec, to a certain revelation that is going to cause a what? that is going to produce the answer of what you are looking for. Amen. All together. Amen. Let's always be careful. Come. Let us go down. And again, God said what? Come. He was calling others. All together. Yes. Is it? Yes, man of God. So here he was not calling men. I believe he was talking to God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. But by that moment, God the Son was still on the bosom of the Father. But the Holy Spirit, since the beginning, he has been what? Separated. How together? Oh, yes. But this time the word was with God. That word that became flesh. Yes. That we know is Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we know that this God the Son is who? Is Jesus. Yes. God the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. How together? Oh, yes, now this is the one who is speaking here. Is God the Father who said, "Come, let us go down and do what and dismantle this kind of evil ideas that men they are trying to come up with. We know something is behind." These actions. That is the reason that Jesus was now straightforward. When he spoke to Peter, Jesus just said, You devil, get behind me. But yet, he was speaking to Peter. Meaning, the devil was now trying to possess Peter. And God said, uh, and Jesus said, that, I'll not play game with you anymore. You devil, get behind me. Are you together? Oh, yes. We believe now here, God was now telling his people, are you together? To come down so that they may confuse and frustrate the plan of the devil. Out together, Amen. the plan of the devil. He said, Come, let us go down and confuse their what? Their language. Meaning, let us go and give them a different kind of language. So that whatever they are trying to do, they may not what? They may not come in one mind, they may not come in agreement. Out together. Amen. Uh -huh. All right. 
and confuse their language so they will not understand each other to confuse how now to introduce another language amen this one will talk Oshivambo, this one will talk Gangela, this one will, will talk Oshivumbo, Oshivumbo, this one Portuguese, the other one Damara, the other one, when another one is saying, Kosa, another one, what? <laughs> what you mean? Eh? The other one is saying, oh, bon dia, another one, ah, bon dia again. Eh? Bon dia is, is like you are saying, bon dia is like my dear, is it? Bon dia, my dear. Are we together? Hmm? Someone will say, oh, welcome. Eh? Come so. Yes. It's, it's like that, is it? Yes. Come so. While I ask in the Portuguese, come so is, is to say, just eat. I'm like, <laughs> this is when I came to Namibia. And I went to spa. They in, in, in Chivarongo. How together? I can't already that story, is it? Yes. Okay. Now you are telling us, come in so. As we will eat. Amen. Amen. Oh, come so. Come, come so. I'm like, oh, what? Come so. Well, they are like saying, come. Is it? Yes. But to us, is what? Just eat. Just eat. Like, ah, come so. For us, is just eat. It's a breakthrough without prayer. <laughs> Out together. Amen. Are you there? Yes. See, see. So that's what, uh, because some people, they like to contradict what God is saying without yes. them yes. understanding. Yes. This type of confusion that God was saying yes. is to yes. introduce yes. another language yes. are we together? Amen. that people have never heard yes. is to come with another message. Yes. Out together. Amen. Amen. That's why a revival church is never understood. Why? Because we are operating the Spirit. Amen. Out together. We yes. are led by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. If you have to follow all the spiritual people, all people who understand spiritual aspects in the Bible, they are what? Persecuted. And our Master Jesus Christ even said in the same manner that the prophet that those prophets who live before you, they are persecuted. So are you. You'll go down the same road. That means that you are, you are a prophet. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Verse 8. So the Lord scattered them. Is it? Amen. From there, over all the earth. Is it? Yes. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Chinda. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. All together. Amen. It's just a matter of time. For the Lord to scatter them. Mm. They will gather to scatter. Amen. Are you there? Oh, yes. So the Lord scattered them from there over all the world. And they stopped doing what? They stopped building the seats. Nine. That's why it was called Babel. Because then the Lord confused the language of the all world. From there, the Lord scattered them over the face of the all world. Is it? Amen. God even acknowledged. He acknowledged and he respects the principle of unity. Out together. Amen. The principle.